And it was from uh, my neighbor, my, my good friend, Dan's mom, Bonnie McCullough. And she, she gave me a knife and uh, I grew up, you know, without a uh, father. And so having their family take me under their wing was pretty significant. And there was a day and I don't know why, but they purchased all of the the kids in the family. Uh, I don't know if they, they got one for Sharon or not. She's the daughter, but the three boys got Swiss army knives and those Swiss army knives had their names engraved in them. And I don't know why I was there. I, I was always there, but I, I was over at their house and they Bonnie and Pat, the parents gave those knives out to the kids and out of that box came a knife with my name on it. I cannot tell you the level of, of joy and um, just wonderful feelings I got from that. They didn't have to do that. And it wasn't like they bought a bunch of Swiss Army knives and just got an extra one. Oh, maybe Dustin or maybe somebody would want one of these. That's not what happened. They had to have the foresight to have those uh, engraved. And I don't know if that happened in a store somewhere or if that happened in a catalog because it was 40 years ago, but, but it really meant a lot to me. It's meant a lot to me to this day. And so I, I, I just, it's so weird how a knife, there's something about being a young boy and being given a knife too, that makes you feel like you're, you're a man. Um, 